Hey, welcome back students. In this video, we're going to go ahead and focus on how to calculate the energy of a wave, but this time if we're given the frequency. So this one here is a fairly straightforward process. However, let's go through this either way. We are going to use the, the guess method, so let's begin by identifying the given. So if you read the problem, what is the energy of a wave of light with a known frequency of 2.5, 2.45 times 10 to the 4th hertz? And so if we underline the parts that we know, we know the frequency, and that frequency is this number here, 2.45 to the 4th power. What we're trying to find out is the energy. And so we're trying to find E. Recall from the equations in class that the E can be found using the following equation. We know that the energy is going to be equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. So in this particular case, we do have frequency because that's given to us, and we already know what Planck's constant is. In fact, Planck's constant is the following number. H is equal to the following number. 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34. And we make that negative there. And this is going to be joules seconds. All right, so if we take these numbers and plug them in to the equation, we should be okay. So let's go ahead and clean things up and get some stuff that we don't need out of the way. And so let me go ahead and erase all of this. Let's get this out of the way here. And we're going to get rid of the other item here at the bottom. In fact, actually, I want to keep that. So let's go ahead and put this. We're going to move this over here to the bottom. And I'm going to just move it out there for a little second so I can move this equation over here. And then I can move this up here. And I'll make this a little bit smaller. So that's the value that we know for h. We're just going to put that over to the side. All right, so if we go and plug into this equation here, we're going to get the following. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite this again. e is equal to Planck's constant. So let's go ahead and take this constant and put it in. So that's going to be 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. And we're going to multiply this times the other number, which is the frequency. And we already know the frequency. It's up above, over here, on the right corner. And that'll be 2.45 times 10 to the 4 hertz. And if we multiply these two together, that should give us the answer that we want. Notice that we do need to pay attention to significant figures, so our final answer has to be in three significant figures. So go ahead and uh, take a moment, press pause, calculate this, and then I'll be right back in about a second or two. All right, so the answer that you would have gotten here would have been 1.62435 times 10 to the negative 29. And the units here is going to be joules, largely because the hertz on that number there for the for the frequency and the seconds are going to cancel. That's going to leave you with the answer in joules. But notice again, the numbers has more significant figures than we actually need, so we only have to consider the first three. That is these three here. So our final answer then, let's just go ahead and rewrite that, is going to be equal to 1.62 times 10 to the negative 29. And again, the answer here is in joules. So here's your answer to this problem. One thing you do want to pay attention to here is that if we have the frequency, all we really need to do is substitute into the equation here at the very top. And so that equation is up here at the very top because we're already provided this information. So we already provided the frequency. We also know that H is given to us because it's a constant. So as long as we have frequency, all we need to do is multiply times Planck's and then we are going to get the E or the energy of the wave. So this is a pretty straightforward problem to solve. The one that's a little bit more uh, complicated because it requires an additional step is going to be the one where we're trying to find the energy of a wave in which we're given the wavelength. And that's the problem we'll do next.